I'm not sure how the U.S. women's national team works, but why isn't Lynn, Lynn Williams playing this year? Is he, why is she not on the roster? Why, why isn't she? She's 24 years old. She's the number one goal scorer in the uh, NWSL, number one in shots, uh, number one uh, in shots on goals. I mean, she's on the top team in the world, and she is not. She's not there, and it, it just makes me wonder who's running the running the program. It was a year ago. A year ago, Megan Rapone and um, the rest of that the the roster. For the U.S. Women's National Team, who who's on that? So Toby Heath and Alex Morgan, Megan Rapone, um, the ones that control that team. Uh, I don't know how much Carly Lloyd is involved. I mean, she's a veteran, um, but there's problems. They're dictating who can play, and when they don't get their way, you know, Lynn Williams. Uh, got some time. Jessica McDonald got some time in the U.S. Women's National Team in 2017. And uh, then the next one, thing we hear is uh, they want the coach fired. The coach that won the World Cup. And they, and they want her fired. So Lynn Williams, who won the championship, who's leading in scoring, again, is being snubbed by the U.S. Women's National Team because why? Um, oh, I know why. Morgan, uh, prima donna, uh, uh, Alex Morgan is there. And you, Alex Morgan is very good. I like her, except she's a jerk. And she does very well against the Brazilian national team, the B team. Um, she does really well against uh, teams that are weak. The, the thing is, the U.S. Women's National Team, they, they host a tournament. They invite teams. Australia came with the team, but the rest of them showed up with their B-level players because they're not going to fund those programs. You, you know what would be a better tournament? Let's do the U.S. Women's National Team, and let's grab some club teams, youth teams uh, in California. Uh, let's... Let's have them play that can actually afford to be there and send all their players. And it'd be more of a battle, you know. As long as they keep, like, you know, as long as Alex Morgan dictates what the lineup's going to be, you know, uh, we uh, any team has a chance that can actually get there. So, yeah, congrats, USA. You beat Brazil. Yay, look, Alex Morgan scored on Brazil. Yay. You know, whatever. Yeah. Score some goals in the NWSL. Okay, be a winner there, and stop dictating the lineups and stop threatening to coach. You know she did that in in uh, Portland. She's a crybaby. Uh, when Jessica McDonald was there, tearing it up, uh, she didn't like it, so she had her benched. Does anyone know that? I do. Jessica McDonald was the uh, top goal scorer, uh, the Golden Boot winner. For uh, the, uh, the the Portland uh, Thorns, and she uh, threw a fit and had Jessica McDonald benched because she didn't want her um, scoring all these goals. That's what happened, and it it's it's crazy. How does that happen? It, that doesn't make sense. It would never happen on the men's side, not to that degree. Hey, we're gonna we're gonna take the top goal scorer. In the league, and we're going to put him on the bench. That wouldn't would not happen, not on the men's side, but on the women's side. And people like Alex Morgan that that do that, you know, can someone make a movie about her or something and do the behind the scenes of who she really is? She is um, a bad bad person. She does that, you know. She gets all the commercials and smiles. I mean, someone do the the true life story of Alex Morgan. 
the uh, the dirt bag. Golly, I just want you know what? I'm gonna identify as a female. I'm gonna go pro, and I'm gonna two foot tackle her and get her replaced. That would be fun. I identify as female. I'm going to get her. Now I'm going to two foot tackle her. Right in the kneecaps. Now, actually, it's not her fault. It's everyone that allows this to happen. So whoever you are, if you're allowing that crazy lady to dictate lineups, dictate uh, who can be on the U.S. national team, you shouldn't be allowed to be involved in soccer. It's crazy. At least, you know, Jill Ellis is still the national team coach, even after the babies went and cried. We don't want her. She's, putting, she's bringing competition, and they're trying to take our, our, our U.S. national team caps away. I don't know. Lynn Williams, the top, top forward in the league two years in a row, top team in the world. She leads that team, uh, is not getting the go-ahead to play in the national team. Because it's not her turn yet. Because we take turns when it's at the national team level. It's ridiculous. Anyways. Um, I like Lynn Williams. She needs to be back there. And I just can't wait till Alex Morgan is no longer playing soccer. And we don't have to listen to her silly commercials. And she just needs to go away. And someone make a movie about really who she is. Oh, man, that'd be awesome. Please, please, Lifetime, make a movie on, on who really uh, Alex Morgan is. Please, that'd be so awesome. All right, I gotta go. Bye. The podcast you just heard was published with Anchor. Got something you want to say to the creator of this show? Send them a voice message using the Anchor app, free for iOS and Android. 